Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. So I have a video that I'm going to be sharing with you all. I've shared this video before but I wanted to talk about this again because our people are truly truly messed up. The Bible says that my people are this destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Uh, we talked too about the image of the beast being worshipped and a lot of people don't understand that this is it ain't what you thought it was. Uh, there have been so many uh, teachings put out uh, that have totally detoured people from the truth. Uh, the image of the beast is what it is. And that's just what the Bible calls it. I'm pretty sure there was another word used. But um, most people know it as the image of the beast. The scripture says the whole world marveled after the image of the beast. And so I'm going to be sharing with you this clip. Um, and of course I'll be back with some more commentary. But some of you may remember this from before. Uh, where a group of black people inside of this church, uh, they were actually weeping and crying and bowed down uh, to this likeness of a dead white Jesus in a casket. And that's truly messed up, y'all. The way they were weeping and moaning like this guy was really there, like he like it's really um, a funeral. And I just it just really bothered me on so many different levels, okay? It's a really bothersome thing to watch, but this is this is just further proof um, of what the Bible says. It says that the Most High's people are destroyed. They are destroyed. Anyway, take a look and a listen, and I will be right back. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so I remember the first time I watched this, and I, I actually said in a video that I'm having a hard time feeling sorry for these people because uh, this is just ignorant. But this time around, it actually made me feel like crying, y'all, because I'm sitting there, and these people look like they're serious. They look like they're serious. I really wish someone would uh, contact me and let me know that this was all an act, that it, uh, an act that it wasn't real, they, this was scripted, they were just playing a role. Even if it was though, I mean, that's the wrong kind of role to play. But I haven't seen anything on the internet that said that this was just an act or that these people were just playing around. This is sad, y'all. This is really, truly sad that they had to carve themselves an image to look like what they want their God to look like. Because we all know that most of these people if that, if that were even a, the statue of a black man who has supposedly died for their sins, we all know that they would not be going on and behaving in this way. They would not be behaving in this way. Not in the least. And that's what's, what, that's what's truly sad about this whole thing. Because our people, our people, I'm telling you, the Bible says they are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. That is that is the straight truth. Destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Truly destroyed. Now, again, the scripture talks about the whole world marveling after the image of the beast. Right? It says the whole world marveled after the image of the beast. Meaning, it's so magnificent to them that they just love it. They worship it. Literally. And this is what we see happening. That's what this is a, a display of, right? Now, I do understand the historical um, meaning behind this. These people have gone into black regions of the world and they have literally forced Christianity on black populations. Most of us never researched it. This is why we shared that earlier 
uh, the excerpt from the White It Out 4 or White It Out 3 documentary, uh, Christianity, The Strong Delusion. We shared that because sometimes we need these reminders that so many of our people are stuck in this web of lies that they cannot seem to escape from them. This is utterly ridiculous. First of all, because they've convinced black people to worship an image that they call the son of God that looks like them, this is what makes it easier for so-called black people to worship them. Do y'all see what I'm saying? This is why there is such reverence uh, for white people in general, because if you believe that they represent what the son of God looks like, of course, you're going to have this automatic reverence for them. You're going to completely overlook the historical um, abuses and persecution coming from that same group because you're attached to the godness of it, right? The form of godliness that they've presented to you. You've become attached to that. So you omit, forget, and exonerate the things or the deeds of the past uh, that have been torturous to you and your people. This is why many of our people don't even want to talk about the past. Now, me, uh, more and more we're starting to wake up and talk about it, but there are large populations of the black community worldwide that do not want to talk about the past. And they don't even want to connect it to what's happening now, which is truly sad. Anyway, I want you to share your thoughts on this ridiculousness in the comment section. What was this? A room full of black people worshiping, bowing down and crying out to a white Jesus in the casket. That's truly, truly messed up. Oh my goodness. I was just imagining myself trying to have a face-to-face -face conversation with any of those people and just trying to drop even the smallest bit of truth to them. I can imagine that encounter would be very tense, that it would be very, very strained and even stressful. I can't even begin to imagine the tongue lashing that I would get. And the, depending on the region of the world, somebody might want to lay their hands on me for telling them the truth about this abomination right here. I'm done, y'all. Tell me what y'all think about that. Do y'all think uh, these people wouldn't receive correction on this? How do you think they would respond if any of us tried to talk to them about this foolishness they're doing? Chop it up in the comment section. As always, keep it tight and keep it right. But until the next live or the next video, stay prayed up. We hope you liked today's topic. Please leave your comments below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, share and like this video, and with that, we're out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel, and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.